All right. God bless your hearts. Hallelujah to God. Real good. May the Lord bless your heart real good. I thank God that he entrusted me. Putting me in the ministry. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. He entrusted me. Putting me in the ministry. All right. Now. As we, as I'm making this production, just move that out of the way right there. My God, and let come to the word of God. All right. Ah, God. We go into First Timothy, chapter number one, and we're going down to uh, verse number eleven, according to the glory. Glorious gospel of the blessed God which was committed to my trust. My God, he committed that to my trust. I got, got, I got that testimony. Say I know I say what you want to. I'm saying, are oh, you too arrogant? I, I ain't stood nothing about you. Come on, let's go. Verse 12. I thank God. Did Paul testimony? This is my testimony too. I, th I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who had enabled me. That means something right there, boy. Boy, that means something there. God helped me. God help me. He enabled me. For that he counted me faithful. Uh, God, he counted me faithful. Putting me into the ministry. Uh -huh. Who was before blasphemer, persecuted in Syria, but I, I, I obtained mercy. I was never blasphemer. I never persecuted. I wasn't in serious. But I was some other things. But I obtained mercy. God had mercy on me. Because I did it, did it ignorantly in unbelief. You know, Paul persecuted the church and talked against the church. Hallelujah. He did that ignorantly. But you hypocrite, you ain't ignorant. You know the truth. Let me just throw it out here. You know tithing not really required by God no more since I taught you and gave you the scripture. All right. And the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. This is a paper saying the word of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world the same sinners of whom I am chief. Uh, boy, I got a pass. You hear me? I, I told somebody a couple weeks ago, man, I done done some things. I done done some good in my life, Lord Jesus. How be it for this cause? I, I obtain mercy that in me first I, Christ Jesus might show forth all long suffering. I, t I heard somebody, don't be so quick to throw people in hell because they ain't doing right, living right. Don't be so quick to give up on them. I was the same way. But I obtained mercy that in me first, Christ Jesus may show up for all long suffering. Yeah, wait a minute. If he saved me, he'll save you too and everybody else. For a pattern to them 
which you hear after you ain't believing now, but you're going to, which you hear after believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be glory, be on in glory forever, forever and ever. Amen. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy. I'm committing unto you. You preachers watching me. You know, you know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. You know I preach the truth. The glorious gospel. Being justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Without the deeds of the law. Without Christ the end of the law. If, if, if perfect with by the biblical priesthood. What for the need would ever Jesus to come. That's Hebrew chapter 7. I God. Hallelujah. I God, he committed that to me. He put me in the ministry. I ain't talking about y'all ministry. But he put me in the ministry. He made me a preacher. He got my attention. I was in error. He got my attention. Praise God. I would talk about you by law, you preachers and pastors and bishops. But he got my attention. Remember, Paul was taught by, said to Peter Gamaliel, tribe of Benjamin, hallelujah, circumcised a day of the law, perfect. Uh, God, they taught him that. Uh, but he counted all that in dark. The same thing with me, I count what y'all taught me at dawn. Talk about tying it off. God wants to tie it off. That dawn, you lying demon. Hebrew chapter 7. Uh, oh, I'm going to put it in your face. I'm not going to let you alone, you hypocrite. Talk about God himself came down here. No, Jesus Christ came down here. God sent his son Jesus down here. And Jesus is alive on the right hand of the Father right now. Called God raised him from the dead. All right. My God. He committed to my trust. He enabled me. One verse Paul said, and I got that too, God know. Say at first, nobody stood with me, but God helped me. I got that testimony. God helped me. No, no, no man stood, in, yes, in secret they come to me. But no, no man stood with me, but God helped me. And we, and we thank all of you for standing with us. We're brothers. Glory to God. All right. My God, God entrusted me and put me in the ministry to preach the true gospel. Righteous without the deeds of the law. Christ the end of the law. Ain't no Sabbath day tithing, offering, fruit, fruit offering, priest, show bread. None of that required no more. And why, what, hold it, Moses testified this day coming. God himself said the new covenant coming. See the old covenant. Hallelujah. Which could never take away your sin. Hebrews chapter 10, chapter 9, chapter 8, chapter 7, chapter 6, chapter 5, chapter 4. All throughout the Old Testament, Jesus, I mean God rather spoke about a new covenant. Uh-huh. The law couldn't do it. Glory to God. All right. He entrusted me. He entrusted me. Hallelujah. He put me in the ministry. He counted me faithful. He knew my heart. Hallelujah. No disrespect, preachers and pastors and bishops and uh, my peers who I come up with. No disrespect to you all, but nevertheless, at Jesus' word. I read the word for myself. And this ain't no secret. Y'all know I taught it among y'all. Hallelujah. Fall prophet in the church. Seed sowing in the church. Talking about ain't nobody without sin. My God, I thank God he entrusted me with the gospel and put me in the ministry. All right. That's enough. God bless your heart real good.